Hi, I'm Shayna and you're watching Island Images. Today we're at the Hagatnya Boat Basin to meet Josh Duenas and Mel Quintiniza, who are going to teach us all about paddling. It goes back to our roots, you know, as far as our culture uh, as Chamorros. Uh, of course, uh, it, it was one of our main sources of transportation actually back before we had carabaos and horses and all that. So uh, the Galaidi, which is the smaller of the fleet uh, that you know, with the ancient Chamorros, they actually used that to transport whatever goods from certain village to village, so which was good. And it's all used inside the reef, which is actually really great. With this paddle, this is actually the steering paddle. This is the number, the person is actually sitting on, on uh, the sixth seat, which is the way back, is actually the steersman. He's the one who actually navigates the boat. Okay, and this is the kind of paddle that he uses. Okay, it's a straight paddle. As you can see, it's actually a lot different from your normal stroking paddle, which is this stroking paddle. These two are stroking paddles. So as far as the, the, the width, it helps control the boat, you know, a lot better. There are different designs on the paddle. As you can see, this one here has a slight bend to it. This is called a double bend. Um, basically, the, the double bend is, is used to correct your, your wrist at the angle of your wrist. So it gives you a little bit more comfortability. Okay, and then this one here is a straight bend, uh, or as a single bend, but it's, you can see the shaft is actually just straight up. Back then, actually, it was more just straight blades from one through six, whoever is gonna be you know, uh, paddling from seat one through six, through six, they use all straight blades. Cutting would, would signify what, what uh, count you are as per side because you're going to be switching from left to right. So you want to sh be sure that your uh, the amount of strokes that you have on the left will be the same on the right. Um, so by calling the huts, it, it basically would uh, notify you when you're going to make your change from either one side of the boat to the other. I like the physical aspect of it. It definitely keeps you in condition, you know. Uh, there's, there's, I mean, there, of course, there are other sports that are out there that, that also can provide that to you, but um, as far as a mixture, I mean, a lot of the other uh, uh, kids these days, especially this generation, they're all into MMA, just different parts of, uh, you know, uh, sports itself, uh, wrestling. And this also can set a good foundation for them, you know, as far as, as them coming out because uh, it, it does give a good form of workout, and especially for, for cardio. A lot, a lot of these actually MMA fighters also come out as well and they, and they train, you know, with, uh, with the, the, the teams that are out here, so which is really good. Hi. Stress reliever for me, you know, for work and being with people that are willing to go out there with me and just share, you know, the opportunity as far as being out in the water. I also enjoy the aesthetics of the sport, you know, just being out in the water, enjoying being out in the deep blue, um, the environment, especially the people you, you paddle with. It's just became a huge thing for our community, especially with our, our, our younger kids. We actually have a team that actually starts the kids from like 6 to 11, and then um, we have another junior division from 11 to 14, so forth. But then again, um, I guess just exposure to the kids, making it, you know, the sport seem fun and, you know, enjoying, and I guess just being in the ocean and, you know, in the water, the kids love it. <laughs> 